Hey YouTube, it's Glorify Me here, and welcome back to the next episode of Let's Learn a PK with Glorify Me. Um, as you can see, I'm starting us off right here with a fight against a range tank. This isn't a live commentary, I'm just showing some pre-recorded clips and then commentating over them. I'm sorry about that. I'll get a live commentary out tomorrow. Um, in this fight with a range tank, it's basically showing you how not to fight a ranch tank. I was doing absolutely horrid against this guy. He was destroying me with those D-bolts. He's just hitting hard. I even had higher defense than him. I think it's just my melee isn't that great. And then he just one bangs me with that 381. It's a rough time. I mean, I was, <laughs> I was kind of upset that I just got beat by a ranch tank who didn't even switch to a spec weapon or anything. Then I bring you guys right back to this fight against this Zerker peer who's sporting a rapier and uh, strength ammo. He's doing some nice combos on me. That rapier always hits pretty high, but I can usually combat it with my whip. I mean, I wasn't hitting too well with my whip in this fight. Um, I was apparently hitting better than him for a little bit into the fight. I mean, I'd been making a meet with a couple 300 plus hits with a with that whip, I whip up my DDS right here, hoping for a Rambo spec. He kind of safed up a little bit on that HP, but yeah, he he was eating pretty hard. Hit that 198. Just hoping for something a little bit more. Once again, I'm fighting more people who have vengeance when I don't. I really need to get on that. I mean, it's just killing me without vengeance. I could have won so many fights with it. It's I'll definitely probably be holding off on PKing until I get that mage up and get that vengeance going. He whipped out his DDS right there, trying to hit some specs on me. It was missing pretty much all of it. I tank a lot of specs on this account. I mean, I, before this fight, I had some D-Claw rushers come up on me and just keep hitting me. This one guy ran up, hit 0101, and then 1111. And then he teleported, and then his buddy came up and did the exact same thing, except he hit like a 148, was the highest hit out of his. I only had to eat one rock tail to heal up from both those guys specking me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this rapier guy's just hitting me. As you can see, there's a skelly underneath me, and some dude with a god sword decided he would try to one bang it. Completely messed up on that. I have a good story about that guy with the AGS, he, uh, or is that a BGS? I can't even tell. I was fighting him earlier and he decided to come up and hit me. Uh, well, he started hitting me before I could pot, and while I was trying to pot, he just killed me. I, that was horrible. That's when I called it a day for PKing. As you can see here, I just got my spec back. I'm trying to hit this guy. I misclick. He's running because he ran out of food. Hit him with a 167 and a 0, and he gets away, and I was just pissed about that. It was horrible. Um, now I'm bringing you guys to some of my free-to-play fights on my strength pier. I was getting a little bored of pay-to-play fighting because it was I was just getting destroyed by too many kids. There weren't very many people out there. There's a lot of one-itemers and raggers who kept hopping on me whenever I'd go into the wilderness. Um, right here, just going... Sim to 2H because I'm a strength peer. I only have 44 range on this account. It is 69 strength, 40 attack, like uh, 59 HP, I think. Now, I think I leveled that up. Right there, I showed you guys a clip of me dying because that is the first time I've ever died on this account while I've been fighting on it. I have a lot of kills. I'm... I'll have to show you guys the bank on this thing if you even care about my free to play PKing. I mean it it can be fun to do it's not the most fun to watch because a lot of it's pretty slow but I mean it's nice and relaxing style of PKing that still has a little bit of reward to it it gets fun when you just need some downtime from doing other things it's a good thing to do as you can see right here I start comboing this kid he's just eaten out of it yet that range is so fast of a switch he can still hit me while I'm still comboing him I bring this back later in the fight because it was quite a while where he wasn't even hitting me. He pulls out a mage, like, uh, I don't know, probably using Fire Blast to try and hit me. <laughs> Not very effective at level 50 combat for a KO. I, I don't think he'll ever get it. And I just sim KO him right there because he ran out of food. Um, Bring you guys back to another fight with a range 2 h -er. He was 
one combat level higher than me. I think he had, he definitely had high range, and I think he had about the same strength level as I did. I was hitting him pretty hard with the sim, like I usually do. My account, for some reason, just loves those sim combos. I used to just go out with the simmy and just hit people over and over and over again. They would just be getting hit all the time. I mean, it, it would destroy kids. But, uh, going through right here, I'm still hitting him. He's hitting me pretty, it's a pretty back and forth fight, just like how most free to play PKing is. He misclicks right there, which is usually a fatal mistake in free to play PKing. It usually makes you miss an eat or something. Hit him with the semi. Trying for the 2H KO right here. No, oh, never mind. I guess I didn't click it. Here we go. And only an 85. That's kind of upsetting. I thought I'd maybe get a little bit higher hit than that. I bring it back to the very end of the fight where we're both running out of food. I start um, comboing with the semi here. I hit him quite a few times. Um, he decides to hit one more time with a range right here, I think, right after he ate. Um, yeah, he's just eating the rest of his food right there while I'm comboing. He shoots me one more time, starts running, I KO him with a semi, which is usually what happens in a lot of free-to-play fights. People run out of food at relatively the same amount of time, and you'll just keep hitting them with the semi as they run out. You usually get a KO. Um, I'm bringing you guys here to close to the end of this fight. I think it is about the end of it. This kid's hitting me with a range to BX combo. It's effective because that BX can come out pretty quick and still hit pretty high. And it can even like do a double hit if he wants to try for a combo. And then I 2H hit him out right there with a one, 186 pretty pumped about that. You don't really get many uh, 2 HKOs in free-to-play PKing. Um, bring you guys back here late in a fight against another strength peer who had 70 strength, which is one level higher than my current strength level. We were both comboing back pretty hard. He was definitely destroying me in the beginning of the fight, and right here is where I kind of saved myself, where I start hitting those sim combos. Hit him with a 154, the 162. Oh, yeah, I'm also using that BX from the last fight that I was in, which probably hurt me more than it helped me. I mean, it's kind of a slow switch semi to BX. The BX doesn't always hit as high as the Rune 2H, and then right there I hit him out at one food, and he was definitely out of food. Um, bring you guys back to another fight where I'm just fighting another range 2H, or I get my 2H back out because I was a little sick of that BX. It wasn't doing too well for me. Um... I'm hitting this guy pretty good with my semi, doing some nice combos. There's always those low hits, though, with those zeros where they safe up on it. I get a nice combo there at 28. He has a huge risk, which not very many people do that in free-to-play. They they're afraid to lose that little 50k risk that they have. So he's just putting up these risks, and then I sim combo him out. He ran out of food pretty early because I was higher level than him, and... Strength peers usually do combo out people's food pretty quick, but those range 2 Hers have a better KO. If people last long enough in the fight against me, I usually just beat them because they run out of food before me. Not very many people do death matches though, which is really surprising since it's such a low risk. In this fight here against another range 2 H -er, has just huge combos for a level 50 peer. I mean, it's just hitting them. 140 plus over and over and over again. He was getting kind of frustrated with those combos as you can see Bring you back later in the fight where We're comboing again. I hit a nice 197 with the 2H right there back to the sim trying for a Quick KO make him run out of his food or something. Hopefully he doesn't hit me out Just keeping my HP kind of high going with the sim again a little nice 134 there a little 63 waiting to pull my 2H out Ooh, and I sim KO him with a 157, which is kind of dirty. Or maybe I did pull out the 2H there, I didn't even realize. But um, I will see you guys again in a couple days, maybe tomorrow with my next vid. Hope you enjoyed this one.